This is the second video in the Membership Modules training series, and you should have already set up your membership site settings. So the next step is to create your membership types on your website. To do this, you will need to go up to your Admin Nav menu, go to the Quick Links drop-down, and select Admin Backend. The Admin Backend of your Tenancy website is where your corporate and membership module configuration settings are stored. When you get to the back, you will come down here where you see Memberships, Membership Types, and if this is a new site, when you click on Membership Types, you won't have any existing types yet. So let's add one. Click on Add a Membership Type on the right-hand side, and we're going to call this Professional members. You can set the price at any cost you want, including zero for free. We're going to say $85. Then admin fee would be, for example, if there's any sort of paperwork or processing fees with your credit cards, things like this. This would be added on top of the membership fee. So you could do something to cover shipping and handling. And then in the notes section, this is only for admins to see, so you can put any notes you want here. And only you and other admins on the site can see this note section. When members are filling this out, they won't be able to see your notes there. So then you can pick the expiration method. If your memberships are good forever and ever once they sign up, you click Never Expires. However, most of the time your memberships will expire and so you'll want to determine whether it's a fixed or a rolling membership length. Rolling would be, for example, if they sign up in July of this year, then it would expire next year on July if you have a one year term. Fixed would be where it's always the first of January, for example, or the first of March, whatever your period would be for memberships. I'm going to say that it's a one year membership rolling, so it will expire at the end of that full year. And you can customize also where it could expire at a certain day of the sign up month. So perhaps they sign up on the 15th of March, only you want it to be. It, you want it to expire at the 1st of March next year. So you can customize and that's just a field to fill in. To simplify it here, we're going to just have it be one full year from the date they sign up. And then the renew expires on is when they're able to renew if you have a discounted renewal price. So you can have the renewal expires exactly on that date. You can have it expire on a certain date during the renewal month or a certain day for the sign-up month, and these will be set under Renewal Options. To simplify this, let's just go ahead and keep it with the default for the end of full period. Next you have Renewal Options, and here you can decide to allow renewal or not allow renewal, whether or not you want to have them only be allowed to have renewal as an option, and if renewal should require approval or not. If renewal doesn't require approval, then they will receive a renewal notice and they can sign up and pay and their membership will be active without your site admin having to approve it. If you require approval on the renewal, then they will apply and renew, pay online, you'll receive a notice and you will have to approve the new membership. A renewal price, for example, up here we've set the fee for $85 and maybe we want to make renewals a discounted price. So it they get $10 off if they renew during the period. And then here's where the renewal period starts and ends. And this is how long before the membership expires. And I think we'll let them renew it ni up to 90 days before their membership expires. At any time during that 90 day period they can come in and pay and renew. And the renewal period is after that membership has technically expired how many days after can they renew and still get this sign-up uh, discount? 
before they have to then pay for a brand new membership. And I think 30 days, give them a grace period for me. And then we have other options for expiration grace period. This would be since your members have specific access to site content and discounted pricing that non-members don't get. When their memberships expired, if you have this set to zero, then expired members lose access to that immediately. Or you can give them a grace period, say 14 days after it's expired. They still have access to that content as if they were members. And after that, their membership automatically uh, becomes expired and the site itself won't allow them to access member-only content unless they renew. And then you can have, if it's going to require approval for them to apply for the membership itself. So for first time members, do you want your admin to approve it or do you want only to make sure that the payment went through and they can automatically join? You might want to require approval initially while you get used to the site and how it works and later on you might turn this off. And then admin only is who can see this membership type. And this might be, for example, if you have big corporate membership types or special sponsorship membership types, you only want your admins to see that, and then they can configure and use it. And then you can determine if it's active. And then the status detail is if there's any sort of note as to why it's active or not active and if there's any hold. And then you're given the option to save and add another save and continue editing or just to save. So we're going to go ahead and save. And you can see right here you now have your first membership type, what the price is, the admin fee. Our site automatically creates a group for this membership inside your system that also creates a newsletter list if you're integrated with Campaign Monitor to help with segmented uh, communications to your members. This shows you quite visibly if it's going to require approval, if it allows renewal or doesn't, renewal price, renewal only, admin only, and status detail. So at a glance you can see and as we add additional membership types you'll be able to quickly see from this page how much they cost, what their rules and settings are, and what the group assigned to them is going to be. So now you know to add a membership type.